All right, guys, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna tell you a trick or a technique that could quite possibly save you some hard times on picking up a dumpster. What I'm gonna teach you is when you're manipulating the controls, when to lay off the controls and stop trying to manipulate the controls. I'm gonna explain in this video the importance of identifying a situation as something that actually happened to be and trying to save the, the, the heartache of almost getting yourself killed. So it's important that you watch the video Pay attention to what I'm talking about, the controls, and what I mean by manipulated controls and lay off the controls. I'll explain that in the video. All right, guys, what we're gonna talk about today is when you're hauling a dumpster, you need to make sure that your dumpster's not overweight. And the way I'm gonna show you how to do that, at least with the hook truck, is when you're pulling the dumpster on, first of all, you're gonna eyeball what's in it. You just wanna make sure that the dumpster, first of all, isn't overloaded and you're getting a kind of an eyeball of, of what's in the dumpster. This way, if I knew, if I pulled up to this dumpster and I knew that there was this was filled with dirt, I would know that the, that the dumpster is gonna be overloaded and it's probably gonna be a no, what we call a no pull and we would have to send a, a tandem truck to come pick it up. But in this case, um, it looks just like it's, you know, it was like maybe a roof or something they've done. Yeah, there's a shed they did. So they um, were doing some repairs to a, sh to a shed dormer roof and um, you know, a general house cleanup. Not a house cleanup, but um, general debris. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to tarp this up. Just finish tarping, getting this bad boy on the truck. Get our day moving. A Little bit of a slow day today getting started. All right, so that's the first step. The dumpster's tarped, and I always like to check to make sure that these are on properly, um, and always make sure your secondary pin is in. I am going to back the truck up to the can, and then I'm gonna show you how to make sure that as, as you're pulling the can on, how you can kind of see if it's, if it's too heavy or not. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna extend the hook of the truck, and I'll extend the hook of the truck, of course, like I'm picking up any other normal dumpster. And I'll back up to the dumpster. And then I'm gonna show you how, in a hook truck, how you would decide whether or not the dumpster is too heavy, or at least get an idea that the dumpster is too heavy as I'm on the truck. Back up to this dumpster here. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to see if you're, when you're on your hook truck, if your dumpster's too heavy. Good. You know, your PTO's on, has been on because you extended your can. Now you have your jib is in, which you always have to have in, and then you're gonna lift up on the can. You're in neutral. And I'm gonna show you something. As soon as the can comes off the ground, if you have to give it any gas, on this truck, I know that if I have to give it gas, my can is probably overweight. But in this case, I'm not giving it any gas. My RPMs are at 700, and there's probably not an overweight issue on this can. Now, if I had to give this, this truck gas while lifting up the can, I would know that the can is too heavy for the truck, and I would call a tandem to come pick it up. Um, you know, a tandem truck, with the one with eight wheels in the back, not four wheels in the back. So this one only has four wheels in the back, obviously. So what we would do is we would we would do what's called a no pick, and then we would just we would call a tandem truck to come pick it up. It's as easy as that. That's how you know in your um, in your hook truck whether or not your your dumpster's overweight. If it was a roll off, it would be the same thing. You have to get a feeling for the controls and understand you know how far you're pulling the controls to make something happen. I will tell you this, this is a very, very important concept for you to understand. If you're manipulating the controls and something's not happening, it's imperative that you stop immediately. If you are pulling on a control and something's not happening, like for instance, let's say I'm trying to pull the jib in or jib out. I hear the machine or I hear my, um, my hydraulics kind of just, 
you know, going to bypass, if, if you're doing something that's actually shoving your hydraulics on the bypass, which I've had before, it's a lot easier to do on a hook truck than it is to do on a cable. A cable is just way stronger um, at the wrong times, I think. So if you see something not happening while you're manipulating the controls, it's extremely important that you stop immediately, assess what's going on, and reevaluate. Let it off, let the slack off, let the pressure off your hydraulics, reevaluate the situation. Because if you continue just to pull it, that happened to me one time when I first started out, I was pulling on a cable that was rated for 75,000 pounds, and I just kept pulling it, thinking, oh, it's just a heavy dumpster. Well, I'm gonna tell you, if a dumpster is that heavy, you can't get it on your truck anyway. But what happened was I didn't have the hook on the dumpster. I actually forgot to take the dumpster off the, the hook off the dumpster and I had it on its the stowage point. I actually ripped the stowage point out and it went flying over my head. So it's important that you, if something's not happening, that you ass that assess the situation and you know find out what's going on and then reevaluate and then let the pressure off and then start over. Now remember, in between running your business, taking dumpsters orders, fielding phone calls from the customers, and doing all the other things, dealing with your advertising campaign on Google, all the other stuff, when you're trying to build an office, be prepared to take off all those other hats and put on your sanding the sheetrock hat. Remember guys, running a business is life or death. Make it happen. All right, so I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do with the controls, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you if there's a hang up or something like that, how important it is to like let off of it. So the first thing you're gonna do is when you get to the dump is you're gonna hit the PTO on, your light's gonna come on, and then you're gonna be ready to operate your controls. What's gonna happen is I have my emergency brake on, and then if I was to pull this in and nothing would happen, if you could feel the truck moving, my jib is moving in and moving out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring it back in. But for instance, Let's say my, my dumpster was so heavy that if I pulled this in or if I do, tried to take the hoist on or off and the, and the controls wouldn't move, it's, it's imperative that you stop immediately. If you don't, you could either blow a hydraulic hose or you could break the truck. Most likely you'll break the truck. Find out what's going on, whether there's a, a defective hose, a problem, a hiccup, anything. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop manipulating the controls. It's very, very important. I almost hurt myself one day really, really bad um, by, do, by not stopping the controls when, when there was a problem. All right, guys, thanks for watching today.